What's up guys, welcome to this video. Before we start, a little reminder to subscribe to the channel if you're new here because I upload regularly and I talk smack about Justin Trudeau and other people like Justin Trudeau and um, Tristan Freeland and uh, a lot of Justin Trudeau. And I also upload a lot of videos about the conservatives, Pierre, Pierre Poliev, and right here. You see Justin Trudeau on Power and Politics. Now Power and Politics, I don't really watch this show because this guy usually is super biased. Now. When I see a Justin Trudeau interview, I listen to his responses, and if it's a, an answer that he gave in the past to a similar question, because Justin Trudeau is like a tape recorder, he usually answers pretty much the same thing in almost every interview, like on his thing where he was um, on a TV show with Colbert. Some of the answers he gave there are repetitive, like he's been lying for, what, all his life now? He's been a liar for a while now, so he's a pretty good liar, and he's pretty good at playing the violin. But like I said, comment down below. Let's watch this together. Fit for this kind of task, and they can trust its findings. Is it responsible to say it's wrong without saying specifically where it's wrong? Well, first, specifically, I will always support the work that NSI COP does. That's why we created the National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians. We needed a way for parliamentarians of all different parties to get the necessary security clearances to be able to look at everything our intelligence agencies are doing. And that's something that Stephen Harper and Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives campaigned against and resisted for years. That is completely made up. If Pierre Polyev does not want his clearance to read the NISCOP uh, report, it's because he can read the one without the names being shown. He knows probably who the MPs are already because he's not stupid and he's involved in, you know, in politics. So he probably has a, a access to certain information or rumors that we don't. Now, Pierre Paul, yes, stated publicly multiple times, he does not want to receive information that he cannot share with the public because it's just useless. He just completely made this up. Never has Pierre Paul Yev not asked Justin Trudeau to reveal the names. That a member of parliament has been compromised the, by a foreign state. The inquiry will uh, do the work that is necessary to ensure that our democracy is kept safe and that the, the right processes are followed. It doesn't necessarily mean um, you know, that they're going to find one way or another in terms of naming names. I think there are very real reasons why we should be trusting a semi-judicial process and an independent uh, person who is not of any political bias to be <laughs> able to say, look, this is how a thoughtful country and have you ever seen someone working for the government that is not of any political bias? Are you serious? Are you for real? Like this person never voted in any election? That does not exist, man. That's just like stupid stuff that he says. And democracy should go about dealing with these very real threats to it. But is it tenable to, to just go on without names attached to some of these allegations? I mean, Jagmeet Singh has said that uh, there's nobody in his caucus he needs to worry about. Can you say the same thing with comfort and clarity? Um, I, I hadn't known that Jagmeet said that. Um, I would be wary of any party leader uh, drawing any sort of conclusion like that. Including Mr. Singh? I would be wary of any party leader drawing any conclusion like that. There is a range of, of issues around foreign interference that uh, that our security agencies, that our uh, various institutions are engaged in. Um, we know that foreign uh, actors are trying to interfere in all different parties in many different ways and protecting the integrity of our parliamentary system and of people who choose to step forward in parliament from, for, from false or misleading accusations that may well be the goal of some of those countries wishing to interfere. Uh, is is requiring a level of thoughtfulness. So like I said at the beginning of the video, it does not seem like the interview is scripted. 